though, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go I hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll see what the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go But even that could change You could flip the gray matter Like some batter in your brain uh, That's why I say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad, you okay Take the worst thoughts and Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past, start a pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explode Grab it you can never do before uh. And even when you feel low You can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never answer to no man I still go Go, 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 go Thank y'all for tuning back in to your favorite channel. It's your boy, PBK9, is giving it to you the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it, some ain't. Man, y'all hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that like button. A big salute and big shout out to all my brothers and sisters down in the chat, down in the chat, and all my brothers and sisters watching right now. Hey, hey, big dog, you got a little homie, you got a little homie in there somewhere. What am I set? It's going out a little bit now. I don't really hear it as loud now. Okay, yeah, I don't know what's going Wait. on with it. To be honest, hey, you, you, you good? You good? Hold up, hold up. Big okay. salute to the brothers, uh, Mister Two One Six in 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 the chat. City Boy Kennels, Yellow One down in the chat. Skip Bell down in the chat. Legion Fury Thirteen, Legion Fury Thirteen. Guess what, my brothers? I I'm honored to have a brother. The, the interview today that takes pride in his line. I got a brother that takes pride in his line. We're going to be interviewing today. We talking some dog talk. Um, like I said, big salute to all the brothers and sisters from one side of the world to the other side. I'm in the building with Big Country Kennels today. How you doing, my brother? What's going on, brother? Ain't too much, man. Ain't too much. Finally got you up in this building to talk a little bit of bulldogs with you, man. How how you doing? How 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 was your day today? Oh man, you know, I mean, just like any other day. Um, had a little to drop today. Uh, matter of fact, when uh, we were talking about doing an interview a couple days ago, I was waiting on that particular uh, little. I thought maybe it dropped, you know, uh, then, but it ended up dropping last night, and she had like sixteen. So you know, that was a huge one. Sixteen. Know, so. Ooh. Hey, 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 I ain't popping anything on the mic, am I? Uh-uh. Okay, just let y'all y'all down in the chat. Let me know if I start popping or anything, or you know, if my if my mic starts sounding bad, or anything. You good on my end so far? You know, you good. Um, but you say sixteen? Woo. Sixteen, 16 four was uh still born, so right now we at you know twelve. That's a big boy little level. Big yeah. boy level. Yeah. Yes, sir, man. So. You know, let me ask you, man. Um, you know, uh, when did you get started in this breed, or when did you feel like this breed was for you? Mm, 
I actually, um, well, I started dealing, you know, saying with these dogs probably in like, you know, like the uh, early 2000s. So, um, but when I finally got a hold of a, well, I can't say I finally got a hold of a working program uh, because, you know, when I, when I got a, um, when I started getting into these dogs, I tapped into some really good dogs from the jump. Um, the problem was I wasn't the one that was supposed to have the dog. And I, and, um, I tell people this all the time, you know, um, you, you go through stages, you know, and so when, uh, people that are inexperienced, you know, saying getting hold of advanced dogs, you know, um, it doesn't serve, you know, the breed, you know, saying any good. And those dogs will never have, uh, a chance to represent the lineage the way it should be represented. So basically when I first started off, you know, uh, with the dogs, I just, shit, I got a hold of some good dogs, but I wasn't that guy, um, that should have had those dogs, uh, just to be honest. Uh, but you know, if you got the bread and, um, you're in the right circle, you can get a hold, you know what I'm saying? Of some shit, but, but it shouldn't be that way. And so even when it comes to me right now, um, I work to change that. I, and I, I think, um, I can, spot an idiot out, you know, um, when I see one, uh, because shit, I was once that fucking idiot. And so, um, I look for people, um, who have made those dumbass mistakes. Cause right now, you know, we're in the process of really just salvaging the breed because, you know, I have one of the best, uh, programs, you know, uh, going on right now. And, and, um, I'll stand behind that because I'm, I'm big on building programs and not only for myself, but making other people successful also. But, um, but yeah, but as far as a successful program uh, going on, that started in 08. That started in um, 08. So um, early 2000, that's when I first um, got into the dogs. Um, and then, you know, um, you know, I was made some mistakes, but then I got a hold of a, se- a successful program and I was smart enough to understand that this was special and it needed to be preserved. And shit, and, and we we hear where we at now, you know. So if it hadn't been uh, for me uh, preserving uh, the the grand champion brick uh, dog before he was even a title dog, you know, I knew something was special about that uh, particular breeding that was done with him and his litter mates. People was running through those dogs left and right. Um, but I was smart enough to make it a uh, particular breeding uh, with two litter mates two bad ones that came uh, up out of that brick and honey bear and uh, produced a Stone Cold dog, which Stone Cold is my production. He's a part of my logo, you know, saying and everything. Matter of fact, uh, even in the back right there, you know, that Stone Cold, everything was built around Stone Cold um, more than actually Grand Champion Brick uh, himself as far as uh, the brand, the BKK brand is concerned. Okay. So, um, when you know, like when you were saying you first started out, so would you say you had some, some some mentors to help you with your mistakes, or you pretty much taught yourself, went through your mistakes, and and you know taught yourself on that? It, it, a lot of it was trial and error, you know. Um, I, I really didn't have that um, those quote unquote mentors, you know, um, that a lot of people uh, speak of, but. Um, I had the ability to identify certain things that other people did not identify. And yeah. and I could take advantage of that. You know, one of the things that I'll share with everyone that a lot of things people hold against me is I've always been in sales. So they'll say, oh, you're a salesman and not a dog man. Hmm. Well, my uh, gift for sales um, gave me the ability to identify the sales pitch that was in dogs as far as like the pedigree and everything. People people gravitate for, towards stories and shit, you know, like dumbasses. Um, and, um, like, I mean, literally like dumbasses. Um, and they don't pay attention to the things that truly matter, you know, when it comes to these dogs. So I paid attention to the things that truly matter. That was going to give me longevity and also set myself apart from everybody else because everybody literally is following each other, like dumbasses, you know, following other dumbasses and, and the blind, you know, can't leave the fucking blind. So if you want to really just be uh, advanced, then go away from what everybody else is doing. Now, shit, they, of course, the masses is, is, is going to get on your ass, but it is what it is. It comes with the territory. And um, you have to be a bulldog yourself before you can uh, also expect, you know, the, 
to have a bulldog. So you're going to get tested. And so, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button out there. Don't forget to hit that like button. We in the building. Big Country Kennels in the building with me. What 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 made you get started with that line that you're running with now far as what, what caught your attention on it? Okay, great question. Um, what should catch anybody's attention with any particular strain of dogs? If it's working, it's producing. Those are the things that truly matter. That's all that fucking matters. Keep it simple, stupid. That's the kid system. Um, that's all that really fucking matters. I, I sit up here and watch people, man, like focus on shit that don't even fucking matter. Uh, like uh, people get in uh, debates on, um, oh, this dog, if they talk about a Mayday dog, oh, it has Mastiff in it, you know what I'm saying? And shit like that. Who gives a fuck? You know, if it's got squirrel in it, you need to find out what fucking strain of squirrel, you know what I'm saying, it came from. If it's working and it's producing, because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. And so no boy can ever speak, you know, saying to me uh, uh, um, on the level of breeding, because I have mastered certain things, you know, um, and I, I take pride in that, becoming a master of capturing desirable traits. So to answer your question, that's what that's what it was. It just you see uh, something desirable. And this needs to be preserved, you know, and taking the time to preserve because you have to preserve, you have to build a foundation. If you don't build a foundation, you know, then whatever it is that you're trying to build, it's going to fall, you know. And so, um, yeah. So, I mean, that's a, to sum it all up, man, that's what it was really all about. And uh, it's whatever it is, traits that you desire, you know, in a dog. And if that dog shows that, find a way to preserve it. Sometimes, you know, uh, the refinement process is a little bit tougher than others, because if you have a scatterbred dog, you're going to have to take a little bit longer in order to breed, 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 finally get that goddamn good dog out of there and then take it, you know, and tighten it up. Um, yeah. And you got to take the best of the best out of that litter and tighten it up. Then you got to take the best of the best out of that litter and tighten it up. But, you know, um, and if you got a dog already that has the DNA, then shit, uh, you know, less work. You know, it's just, you know, taking it, keeping those dogs out of trouble and keeping them around. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you think I heard you say because uh, a lot of brothers don't have this opportunity to start with great dogs. You know, mm -hmm. you started with you started with good dogs. Do you think that was from you doing your research beforehand or you just in the right place at the right time? Uh, definitely. Uh, probably the right place at the right time. And most importantly, the ability to identify. See, a lot of people don't have that. They don't have the ability to identify something that's great that sits before them, you know, and then they may not be the person, uh, you know, for that dog and to be able to manage that dog. See, majority of the people, man, I don't know how many viewers you got, you know, saying up on here, man, but I'm going to speak to a lot of people in general. Uh, a lot of people are unproven like a motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm talking, about, I'm talking about people, man, that's dealing with these dogs, period. They unproven. And what I mean by that, and then on top of that, if you tell them that, then they can't take the pressure, but you want a bulldog that takes pressure. Now, I'm going to tell you, you know, I'm gonna I tell the people all the time, I be carrying them the shit out. All right, you unproven, and the reason why you unproven, because if you take something that is proven uh, as a proven producing dog or a proven working dog, but if you owned it, then that same dog wouldn't have been shit. All right, I'll give you a prime example. Uh, if you take a, a Chinaman dog, or you take a Mayday dog, and if you ask people, if you want people to be honest, you know, ask them, hey, look, if you own Chinaman, you know what I'm saying, as a puppy, what would he be today if you owned him at six weeks old? You know, and then they'll be like, oh, man, he'll be a bulldog. Really? What would his name be? Hmm, Chinaman? How would his name be fucking Chinaman? You wouldn't have named him Chinaman. You know, the truth of the matter is, if you owned that motherfucking dog at six weeks old, the dog wouldn't have been shit. And nobody would have never fucking knew the dog. You see what I'm saying? So you take something that, that has been proven to work, prove it, to produce, but then, hey, wow, you stick your name on it, or you put your work behind it, dumbass. It, it's it's yeah. nothing. The dog is shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm big on actually um, educating, you know what I'm saying, the people that are in the uh, our dog community, because the better the man is, or the better the woman is that stand behind the dog, the greater the animal has the chance. So it's all about, you know, um, giving these animals the best chance to represent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I agree with that. I agree with that. So, um, when you, you know, when you first started out, what was, I, well, I would guess, you know, I ain't going to ask you that because I see what you, you know, you told me what you was running. 
What if, what what would be the best advice you would give a new and up and coming dog man? Uh, get out their own way. Um, <laughs> I, you know, sometimes you just have to. You have to. You know how you know everything that you think that you that that you've learned. A lot of that shit, you have to erase it. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm gonna tell you the reason why because if like people talk about you know saying my you know. Uh, like right now, I got two grand champions up under my belt, right? And people make a big deal, you know, saying about it. They, oh, they fake this and fake that and blah, blah, blah. But the whole time, man, I was putting in the work while these motherfuckers was talking about particular dogs. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and then it, yeah. was, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, you know, saying that when I, oh, they'd be like, oh, well, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. Well, shit, uh, I'm good at making others great around me. So it's not about what you can do as an individual. How many people can you make great? Like, if you want to compete against me, we have a, a competition, right? You yeah. can't compete against me the way that they try to compete against me on an individual dog basis. No, you got to compete against me on be like, hey, BKK, I bet you I can make more uh, people successful with my particular strands of dogs than you. You see yeah. what I'm saying? And so that's the way you with me. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, man, you're a peasant, you know, saying shit to me. I, I don't I don't play around with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm around like a god. You see what I'm saying? And so. Yeah, so we're going to compete like guys. You know, that's just the way, you know, saying I think. I think on a completely different level. And I and and you can't beat a motherfucker, you know, that you don't understand how he operates, but I can dominate you, you know what I'm saying, if I didn't deal with a bunch of motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, who think like you. You know, and I wouldn't uh, about you, you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, yeah, you're good. you're good, bro. Yeah, Let me but, ask uh, you this, man. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. how, how, what's the best way to deal with the haters? Oh, man. You know, the thing about it is, man, you know, um, you have to be a bulldog, you know, stand for one. Um, I, I think when it comes to nobody can dispute, nobody's been hated. We all have haters, but nobody's been hated on uh, the level of BKK. Real shit. Real yeah. shit. Everybody got fucking haters, but ain't nobody been hated on more than me. <laughs> No, nobody, bro. No, nobody. And the thing about it is because I got two different sets of haters, but yeah. I understand haters you see what i'm saying so i got some white racist haters because the game dog world is built um off of uh, white racist people and then i got haters that look like me and you okay now the haters you got to understand these people right so you can dominate them all right so um the haters that look like me and you there's nothing special about them all right and so you can't even take it personal that they're hating you know saying on you because there's nothing personal against you you just have to happen to be somebody that's doing something um, that they can't do. So if you remove you from it and then replace, you know, with somebody else that's able to do the, something that they can't do, then they're going to hate on that motherfucker just the same. So you can't never take it personal. So when yeah. it comes, so when it comes to my haters, you know, that are black, that are Negroes, <laughs> um, I don't take it personal. I love you guys. I, I understand you and the reason why that you're doing it. All right. And so, and it comes from conditioning. Now, when it comes to the white racist people and the white racist people, they, they like to say, oh shit, he's saying that he hates all white people. Shit, I'm not even saying that I hate, you know what I'm saying, white racist people. Because in the Trump era, man, I was cool as hell with the uh, white racist people because they wasn't secretive. They was all out, you know what I'm saying, in the open, man. And I was loving that shit. You know, um, so, you know, I, you know, I respect them for it. You know, uh, but when it comes to them, they hating on for a completely different reason. All right. They hating for a completely different reason. And they hating on a, a, a reason of because these folks are the elite of the game dog world. And they're the most intelligent of the game dog world because they understand how you dominate. And then so when they listen to me, they say this motherfucker here knows. All right. And so um, now. He can create a problem. You know what I'm saying? If he gets other people that look like him, you know, to gravitate, you know what I'm saying, around him and to think like him, then, you know, uh, it's a fucking problem. And so basically in, in and out, uh, in the dog group, out of the dog group, you know, when you have, you know what I'm saying, um, a, a person who goes against the grain, you know, of a, of a system that's supposed to really just keep a certain group of people neutralized, then, you know what I'm saying, it's definitely going to be a problem. But I'm going to tell you another thing, too, you know, to get uh, also in the asking um, uh, your question. I learned how to get haters to actually work for me. 
you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's, 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 but you got to understand, you got to understand how they, how, how they work. You got to understand what really motivates a hater, uh, a hate and, uh, and the, and the genetic makeup of a hater. All right, let's just say if I know if I know of a man, you know what I'm saying, who got his shit together, right? All right, and so he may have had his daddy around, you know what I'm saying? His daddy may have taught him, you know, um, how to conduct himself, you know what I'm saying, as a man or how a man, you know what I'm saying, moves uh, when he gets older. I can't get him to hate on me, all right? Mm-hmm. I don't want to get him, get him to hate on me, you know what I'm saying, anyway. I, it's not like I'm out just uh, searching for haters. Um but that's not that's not the person who's going to hate on you. That's not the person who's going to keep up with you 24 seven. All right. It's not it's not going to because he's got his own shit going on. So if you bring to him about something about what BKK is doing, he's not going to entertain it. He's like, man, look, here, I got my own shit going on. But I'm going to tell you something. The motherfuckers that's been raised in them households with them single women and that picked up that female love behavior. That's the motherfuckers that you can dog on, manipulate, control, dominate. And the, how I learned it is from the elites of the world. I, I study world domination. You see what I'm saying? And, and they already instilled the feminine energy in, in you, you know, and then you use that shit against them. Now, yeah. uh, people, people be like, well, damn, man, why, why would you do that to your own people? OK, um, when I first came into the uh, the, the Internet world, right? Uh, I didn't have any intentions on doing none of that shit. I'm going to tell you, bro, the motherfuckers came at me so goddamn tough. It was like a bulldog. It was like a bulldog out there in the fucking woods, right? And what? And, and basically, he got hit with a hard, hard hit. Goddamn in the mouth. What you going to do? What are you going to do? What do you want that bulldog to do? You want that bulldog to goddamn adjust. You see what I'm saying? Don't panic. Adjust. Figure it out. That's exactly what I did. When them motherfuckers, when them haters came left and right out of nowhere, hit BKK in the mouth. Shit, I figured they motherfucking ass out. And I, I learned how to use them uh, to benefit me. I learned how to manipulate them to keep them talking about BKK 24 fucking 7. BKK, BKK. And when I got that free advertisement, I was just putting out good dogs. Putting out good dogs. Putting out as many good dogs as I fucking possibly could. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, the child was proper properly placing them a lot of times but still i was putting out good dogs so when yeah. those dogs were out there and they would represent and people would be like man um uh, how's that dog bred and they'd be like shit this is a bkk dog could nobody say that they ain't never heard of bkk because the haters did such a motherfucking good job of marketing yeah, they, yeah. It, it wasn't bkk support supporters investors it was none of them because yeah, yeah, hey. So I'm a, if if I got any BKK uh, supporters up in here, y'all know y'all suck when it comes to advertising and shit. You motherfuckers keep shit. They keep shit to their goddamn self, man. Them motherfuckers suck, man, for real. Like I'm, I'm they best kept secret, you know. So they're not gonna tell nobody. You know, saying nothing. It was the haters that marketed BKK, you know. And so basically, man, to answer the question, you know, saying the long run, get them motherfuckers to work for you. Yeah, you know, at, at the end of the day. Get them to work for you, but they, they come with ill intentions, right? So you the, the ill intentions is the negative. Be like, God damn, how can I turn this negative into a positive? How can I turn and, and that's all I did, man. Shit, I adjusted. I shit, man. These motherfuckers come at me left and right. I need to find a way um to make it work for me because that's what a good bulldog would do. Find yeah. a way to make it work, overcome the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I want to send a big sh- big salute to all my brothers down in the chat. Tony M, what's going on? Hemi James, I see you down there. Eli Monster, Ed Volatin, what's going on? Carolina Bulldogs, salute to y'all brothers. I ain't got my glasses on, so I can't. Uh, two dogs, what's going on? I see you down there. Yes, sir, I see all y'all brothers down there. A big shout out to you, man. Hey, they say the uh, pig picket council. They say a whole, uh, they say uh, going to have a, a get, get rid of two. A two for one sale or something. I don't know, but I got a hell of a video dropping for y'all tomorrow. I got, you know, I, I got the CNN satellites going crazy. They're getting that info. I got another video dropping for y'all tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I would have dropped a night, but the, the night, BKK night, you know what I'm saying? I ain't bringing none of that to the table tonight with his with his, with his interview. You know what I'm saying? Um, So tomorrow I drop that. Oh, I want to say this right here. Big shout out to the brothers who going to uh, win the, who, I, I don't think they told the results for the digital dog show yet. 
But big salute to the brothers that's going to place first, second, third. The, the, the brother who's going to win best in show overall or the sister who's going to win it. Big salute to y'all brothers. You know what I'm saying? One thing, one thing about it at the end of the day, I, I ain't mean to cut y'all, BKK. I'm about to get back to it. One thing yeah. about one thing about it at the end of the day, man, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to this positive stuff, Pelican Bay K9 is gonna represent this positive stuff at the end of the day. It don't matter who on the back street trying to knock what we trying to do or what the next man trying to do that I'm gonna put myself involved in. It don't make no difference. I'm still gonna represent this, the way I say I'm gonna represent whoever win the shows. I'm still gonna give you your your uh your advertisement, whoever win best in show. Um I'm still going to, you know, represent for this first, the second, the third, the gold, the silver, the bronze winners. It, it takes a, a good dog, man, to enter his dog. So you can't knock none of them brothers who, who getting in them dog shows. Big salute, big, big shout out to all the brothers that's representing in it. Y'all got some great looking dogs out there. I see you. You know what I'm saying? I see y'all brothers. You know what I'm saying? And like I told Gas and Go, I'm coming for you, big dog. I don't even know who's going to win this show this, this year right here. I mean, this, 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 um, this April, this spring show, but well, whoever win it, I'm coming for you, gas and go, all y'all brothers when I come. You know what I'm saying? But big salute to y'all brothers, man. Keep it, keep doing what y'all doing. You know, keep doing what y'all doing. You know, uh, a big salute to you, BKK, man, doing your thing, holding it down as long as you've been holding it down. Haters and all, lovers and all, doing your thing the way you do it, man. They can say what they want to say, you know what I'm saying? But you doing your thing, dog. It just is what it is. You know, you doing your thing. Um, now, I'll, let me ask you, man. Um, what male dog would you say uh, is the top of all dogs in the past? Don't care. Okay. okay. And I'm and, and I, I'm gonna tell you why. Because I don't get caught up in focusing on shit that doesn't matter. That doesn't benefit me. And and, and majority of the, and majority of the times. You know, people get caught up in the stories, stories of the past. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, you know what yeah. Even when you look at dogs, you know, saying of today, um, I'm going to tell you the dogs that are important, right? The dogs that are important are the ones, like if you have a particular dog, right? Um, it's, it's Sire, it's Dane, you know what I'm saying? It's grandparents. They, you know, um, those are the dogs that are important. And yeah. the reason why they're important, because they play the biggest role in what produced your dog, all right? And those dogs in the past and t telling stories about them and, and trying to, man, I don't give a damn about that shit. And then on top of that, just to be honest, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not going to teach, you know what I'm saying, um, um, anybody that's connected to me, you know what I'm saying, my kids, my grandkids, you know what I'm saying, how to glorify them people that didn't have respect, you know what I'm saying, for our ancestors. So fuck what they talk about. I fuck they don't. That. You know, and uh, and I have to I have to put it out there, you know what I'm saying, like that because you know, God has put me in a position, you know what I'm saying, to put other people in positions of power and to create their own strengths, you know, and then become legendary, you know, saying in your own right. And then you have your kids, your grandkids look at you, you know what I'm saying, uh, as legends or either someone who looks like you, you know what I'm saying, as a legend. So, you know, um, yeah, man, I I don't get caught up in that shit. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something. I remember you kind of shook everybody up, man. Um when you said something about, uh, and I, I, I sat back and laughed at it, just to be honest. Um, when you said something about those yellow dogs. Yeah. And how a lot of people was like, uh, they thought that they had the uh, real yellow dogs, you know what I'm saying? But they, but they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It, it, it's good for a topic. It's good for a topic, man. But at the end of the day, man, look. It's all about it. That shit is working and producing what you got. I re I remember um, a guy hit me up, right? This guy was distraught. He had a legitimate fucking dog. Could nobody take nothing away from the fucking dog, right? So yeah. haters, they do what they do, you know, sending the day. So what they do is they go through his pedigree. They go through his pedigree and they, they found a flaw of what everybody would perceive, you know, as saying as a fucking flaw. So I think in the third generation, it had like a, a Camelot dog up in it. So my understanding, Camelot's supposed to be some, I don't know, blue dog or some shit or some show dog. Yeah. And so, man, they got to this man. They was like, man, he was like, man, look, man, God damn, I got a bulldog, bro. Okay, nobody fuck with it. You know, but they found a flaw in my dog. And they found it through the pedigree, bro. It's got Camelot in that shit, bro. And this shit just fucking with me. I say, bro, you worry about the wrong shit. I say somebody gonna end up getting that dog from you, you know. Um, 
because that's the name of the game. What you do is you talk down up on a motherfucker, especially when they don't know the importance of what it is that they have. Yeah. And they're yeah. destroyed. You know, saying about it, you say you, you don't even have to come at them directly. You send somebody else, you know, saying to offer them something for the goddamn dog for little or nothing and get it. And then they'll talk about your dumb ass, how you didn't even know what the fuck it is you had. Because at the end of the day, when dealing with these dogs, it's all about what works and what produces. All yeah. that other shit, all that other shit is a sales pitch. That's all it is. So when you look at the pedigrees and shit like that, that's a sales pitch. That's why I tell people, they be like, BKK, man, look at my pedigree. Tell me what you think about my pedigree. I say, well, the colors are nice. These are beautiful. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the colors are nice, but at the end of the day, I can't tell you, you know, what you really need to know. And uh, and the reason why is because I don't know those particular dogs personally. So the dogs that made up your dog, I don't know them personally, whether they have desirable traits or either can throw desirable traits. Or another thing that could have helped me out is if I knew the breeder personally. If that breeder... Um, had a reputation of, of, of putting out, you know, saying really good dogs. All right. That may can help you. But if I don't know that shit, then I ain't shit I could tell you, man. People sit up there, they be, they be wanting a sales pitch. They be yeah. wanting to sell. I supposed to look at it and be like, oh shit, yeah, that motherfucker put together, bro. That shit going to click with my shit all goddamn day long. I'm supposed to say that because, you know, my whole main objective is supposed to uh, uh, just sell them a puppy. So, any fucking uh, uh, a peddler, breeder, whatever the case may be, if they're trying to get off of something, they're going to tell folks that nine times out of ten. But I don't, bro. I just keep it solid, man. You know, yeah. people call me. Um, the first thing I do is I, I talk to them, you know, and um, a lot of people don't make it past the conversation. I'd have been encouraged they ass out, you know what I'm saying? I'm, and I'm like, damn, if, if BKK, you need to watch how you talk to me. You know, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm sensitive, you know, and all this shit right here. But you want to pull it off you yeah. want a book. You know, you 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 want something that's gonna be able to take pressure. But then you can't take it. that shit. I'm gonna test you. Cause people, man, people make the mistake of actually calling me. They make the mistake of calling me and thinking it's their fucking decision. You know what I'm saying? On yeah. on whether you're know saying they get a fucking dog from me. It's not your fucking decision. I'm sitting up here trying to see if if we're compatible, you know what I'm saying, to do business. It's my fucking decision because at the end of the day, it's something that I'm doing that's 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 working, right? And I know what it is that I got. I know the position that I can put you in. My main objective is, damn, okay, nine times out of ten, I already know you're going to go against the system that I'm teaching. But then I sucker you into building a yard off of my program. Because if I can sucker you in building a yard off my program, we all going to fucking win. Right, right. I mean, that's just the way I look at it, man. You know, and so I have to feel like, you know what I'm saying, I can do that with you and get the investment. If I can't do that, man, we're just not compatible to do business. Because like I said, I'm constantly looking for the idiots that I was when I first started off in the game. Remember, you know what I'm saying? I told you, bro, I, I came into the game getting good goddamn dogs. But I shouldn't have had them motherfucking dogs. You know, I, I really shouldn't have had them, bro. I ain't had nothing to offer at that particular time, you know, uh, of my dog career just stepping into the game. So I don't want to put advanced dogs, you know, that I have. Um, out there, you know, to people who are idiots, you know, at there in that point, but um, you know, you want to make sure that uh, people have made the mistake of ruining a good one. You know, I, I like to ask people that all the time. Have you fucked up a good goddamn dog? A lot of people they be lying and shit. Uh, but then you got uh, folks that will tell the truth. Yeah, man, I didn't fuck. I fucked up a good one. So if they fucked up a good one, they acknowledge it. They take accountability for it. Then they, they're they're going to be on the lookout and not to make that mistake again. And so your, your chances are better because in this game, it's not, it's all about, it's nothing guaranteed. Everything is a gamble, but you can play that percentage role, you know, and you can get the percentages to roll in your favor, you know, uh, based off of, you know, uh, how you maneuver. And so that's what it's all about, man. Just getting the uh, percentages to go in your favor, you know, and give the best chances all the way around the board. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, if you could descri describe the brick line in, um, a few words, what would the words be? Describe it. Complete dog. Um, with the ability to produce. Offsprings producing. Consistency. When they, when, they, when they talk about the BKK dog, man, people always talk about, damn, man, them motherfuckers is consistent. Uh, they're extremely fucking intelligent. Um, I like to post my dogs without pedigree. Where everybody else, you know what I'm saying, um, 
they rely on their fucking pedigree because, like I said, they need a fucking sales pitch. But um, I'll post mine without the fucking pedigree, and people just look at the motherfucker like, God damn, you know, those look like BKK dogs. If I have somebody else, you know what I'm saying, post it uh, in another group, that's what people are going to say. You know, damn, those look like BKK dogs, you know? Yeah, because, yeah. uh, yeah, you know, I've, I've literally built a brand. You know, but the most important thing is, is they're working, they're producing. So it's all about, man, getting them into the hands of the right people that can really, you know, uh, help uh, uh, make a difference. You know, when it comes to BKK or even when it comes to uh, the dogs, you know, uh, themselves, because I mean, shit, bro, this is just the beginning. You know, yeah. this is beginning. Like I, I, I motherfuckers, you know, sit up there, you know, and uh, BKK. I, I used to tell them all the time, you know, y'all, y'all laugh now, but y'all gonna be crying later. Now I just yeah. done a breeding two grand champions, you know, and both of them come from my fucking dogs. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people can't say that when they talked about Stone Cold, they said Stone Cold was a curve. Oh, he wasn't gonna throw anything, but he got a grand champion though. And so then on top, yeah. So Stone Stone Cold was Brick's father. No, no, Stone Cold was Brick's son. I, I took. Okay. I took yeah, I took I took Brick and uh, Honey Bear, bred them together, um, and uh, that's how Stone Cold was produced. Another thing too, y'all, um, and people, you know, uh, uh, be like, "Damn, uh, uh, you breed puppies?" Eh, not necessarily, but I'm gonna tell you what I did do. I picked um, I picked him out as a pup. I picked him out as a pup. You know. Um, Stone Cold out as a pup, and I picked him out as a pup, and and, and uh, to serve the purpose uh, that he served, and I was right. Um, when um, when uh, Grand Champion Brick, uh, before he got stolen, I did that particular breeding. Why? I told you I had the identity uh, ability to identify. You know, something needed to be done just in case yeah. something happened to that dog, and uh, I did that breeding. I did that breeding with him. You know, sending honey bear. Both of those were special dogs, and if you uh. Talk to certain people in Mississippi. Uh, they'll be able to tell you about Honey Bear for sure. Um, and then uh, also Brick Brickmore, you know, um, after he got stolen, that's when he got, you know, um, uh, uh, campaign. And the guys, and for the record, the guys who campaigned the dog didn't steal the dog. But I'm not going to go, you know what I'm saying, all into that. Because there was so much nah. shit talking about Brick. It was fucking ridiculous. Um, but I will say that, you know, the camp, because people be like, oh, they stole the dog. Nah, they didn't steal the dog. You know, um, if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, you know, you should shut the fuck up. You know, and then uh, a lot of times more people are interested in trying to discredit the dog. You, bro, do you understand Brick didn't get discredited until I got him back? The motherfuckers was pissed off. But I will tell you this, uh, for you haters that's out there watching, if you had shut the fuck up, I never would have doggone uh, took the liberty, you know, uh, trying to even get the dog back. It was because of social media. You're running your motherfucking trap. Uh, you was talking, bragging and shit about how my dog got stole and how y'all knew what a motherfucker was, this, this, that, and the other. That's what made me pursue on getting the fucking dog back. If you had to shut the fuck up, they probably would still have that fucking dog. You see what I'm saying? But then you run your fucking trap, be like, all right, hold on. Let me show you here. You know, and then when I got the dog back, my little was like, God damn, how the fuck you pull that off? <laughs> you know, and they got, and they got, and they got pissed off. So at that point, understand this, when Brick was stole, nobody, nobody said fake this, fake that. Nobody. He was a legitimate bulldog. When I got the dog back, now yeah. he'll, now he'll fake. Uh, when it came to Wonder Girl, all right, man, uh, H. Lee Robinson of American Sentinel K-9 went out there, put it out there that she was a grand champion. And I sat up here and watched this shit. I watched it. And I said, hmm, interesting. Let's see if anybody say that this dog is a fake grand champion. Nobody. Nobody. All right? But then when you motherfuckers found out that I beat him out for the dog, because the guy who had the dog say, okay, well, I'm going to sell the dog, and it's going to be between y'all two. You know, yeah. uh, Ace Lee came to him and shit uh, with some fucking deal. You know, uh, hey, this let me let me bring uh, 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 breed the dog, you know, to Frankie Bump and all this other that stupid ass fucking cur. You know, saying that he got uh, over there that he says uh, I'll produce the DKK dogs. But that's another goddamn story. But 
Then he wanted to work out a pup deal with the guy. The guy wasn't interested in that shit. You know what I'm saying? He needed the bread. All right. Yeah. And so I, I ended up getting the dog. And when I got the when I got the fucking dog, that shit was over with. Over with. Them motherfuckers was pissed off at the highest point of positivity. <laughs> and you know, and, and they they knew it was over. They knew it was over. Only thing you could do is lie. Oh, it's a fake grinch. Now it wasn't fake when the white man was advertising it. It wasn't fake then. So why I gotta be fake now? Yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, what what wasn't fake? The money that it took to get that motherfucker, that shit was real. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. She was real so, along with that. Yeah. So I know you said uh, you know, you, you don't really rock with the old dogs, but let me ask you this. If yeah. I see um you got some deadlift in your in your pedigree a little bit, um so if you had to take one of your females back to either deadlift or mayday, which one would you take them to? Boy, I tell you, boy, y'all just do not want to let the slave master go. <laughs> look, look, bro, I ain't taking them to neither one of them bitches. I'm taking it to shit. I'll take it to a to a, uh, uh, somebody that looked like me that's got a particular strain, you know what I'm saying, that's working and producing that's compatible with my shit. I'm not into all that, bro. I promise you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I ain't, <laughs> you better get that shit out of me. I ain't taking it to neither one of them bitches. I'm going to tell you another thing, too. If you start talking to people who was around there in that era, right, they'll, start, they'll tell you about all the motherfuckers that wasn't working. All right? This is what you need to learn. Hey, look here. I'm going to teach y'all some shit that y'all need to pay attention to when it comes to these doggone dogs of the fucking past. Okay? I'm going to put y'all on straight up fucking game. All right? And y'all need to get out of the goddamn sales pitch and shit. Okay, so if you start paying attention to all these dogs on legendary dogs, right? Go to their offsprings. You're going to see pages and 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 pages are full of dogs on different breedings that they didn't have. Okay? So these this how the dog became a registered American. What you have to keep in mind, y'all, you have to keep in mind, there's a lot of that shit that didn't work. And 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 a lot of you guys strange that y'all that y'all breeding from comes off of that shit that didn't work. Okay? All right. And so it's all about getting the good strains. That's why you have good strains, you have bad strains, but you when they breed them out like that, you have more bad strains than good strains. All right? And so another thing too, if you take your no Joe having ass, right? Don't nobody know your fucking name, right? And your yeah. backyard dogs that y'all got right now, I'm talking to the community. You know what I'm saying? The backyard dogs that y'all got. And you breed your fucking dog as many fucking times as those legendary dogs. And guess what? Your motherfucking dog on backyard dog will be a motherfucking legend also. <laughs> it's going to be rest of the merit also. You know, so that's why I say, man, I, I don't focus on that dumb shit. All right? I, I, I've been in sales and marketing all my fucking life, so I can detect a sales pitch. Yes, all right? yes, that's all it is. It's a sales pitch. And you, and you won't dominate. You will never dominate like that. Those, those are roadblocks that just keep you spinning. And you, you'll be spinning your wheels. You think you're getting somewhere, but actually you're not. You're not going to dominate shit. Yep. Yep. You're right about that. Now, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, my brother. Let me ask you this. So what, what, what would you say the best dog you ever laid your hands on, you ever seen or had possession of? Throughout your life. Oh, it's definitely gonna be it's definitely gonna be out of the uh the uh the grand champion Brickstone Cold Dogs, you know, for the simple fact that's the reason why I stuck with them. Um that was a particular dog that nobody even talked about, man, and nobody even fucking know about. Um, you know, Grand Champion Brick, you know, was uh was uh good. Grand Champion Brick, you know, was good, of course. Uh Honey Bear, you know, uh was good. Um but out of those particular breedings, that was a bitch by the name of Hooker. That that would probably outshine all the motherfuckers. That's um, a female. That's a female. Female. That was a litter mate. That was a litter mate to goddamn uh, Stone Cold. You know, and uh, yeah. And so people don't know, you know, saying about that, you know. But um, there are there are dogs, you know, that have been uh, produced uh, consistently, you know. Um, that are just as good, you know, saying that those dogs, man, I'm going to tell you what really makes the difference, bro. It is so fucking hard. It's so fucking hard, bro. You know, is to actually place the dog with someone who can make a motherfucking difference with them. Like I said, bro, you have to, the reality of it is, man, there's so many unproven people, man, 
you know, saying out here and they're the ones who have the dogs for the most part. And so, you know, um, that's a that's a little bit that's a little bit tough. Now, what's going on right now? Um, who's the motherfucker? Brickhaven, you know, what I'm saying is the motherfucker. Brickhaven is an all out bulldog. I'm talking about an advanced dog. But um, what makes him on another level? You know, um, he's in a tight form of the grand champion Brick uh, uh, blood. And he was one of the only ones that was produced that was di- that like that keened in directly off grand champion brick majority of the other dogs they keened in off of stone cold yeah you know uh but it's like it's like saying well what people can understand you know dogs of the past it's like uh saying uh chinaman with no frisco right so basically that's that's what that is you know um grand champion brick you know with no stone cold you know it's just in off of Grand Champion Brick, and he gives me, um, breeding wise, genetically, he gives me a little bit more leverage um, to actually take back into the blood versus um, Stone Cold because Stone Cold comes off of an inbreeding, so you can only take them back, you know, uh, into itself so many times, and and that, and that ain't you know. So, but how how do I know that by breeding? And I want to say something even when it comes to that for motherfuckers. Uh, uh, who talk about, oh, uh, they only done this amount of breeding uh, for, um, oh, I only done two breedings in 20 years. Okay, well, motherfucker, you don't know shit about goddamn breeding then. You're inexperienced goddamn breeding. The only way that you're going to be a master breeder is to goddamn breed. Anybody who has mastered anything, they do it over and over and over again. You know, if you need a heart transplant and, and, and the doctor tells you, Oh man, I only done this shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit once or twice. Well, shit. Uh, hold on, doc. <laughs> shit. What's the what's the percentages of those two? Well, shit. You know, I came close. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you're not yeah. you're not gonna have confidence. You know what I'm saying? In that. So, um, there's so many things that people follow that if all they have to do is just use their fucking common sense, and and it'll tell them, hey, don't follow that shit. You know. Yeah. So any. Anything it, 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 um, to become a master, you do have to do it, you know, saying repetitively. And I've done that. Um, um, people don't see the mistakes. You only see the good. People don't see the culling. The culling starts here. So when you get a yeah. BKK dog, I select them. I'm the one that pick them out because I pick out the ones that's going to represent me. You get yeah. something superb, you know, something that's of excellence. Yep. I got you on that. So let me ask you this. Um, what line you think go best with the brick line? Oh man, you can breed them to a squirrel. You know, you get it. You get the um, and I'm gonna tell you the reason why I say that. All right. The reason why I say that is because it's the investors that I have, um, that they have my dogs in the tightest form of the blood. Tightest forms means you can't take it no more. Once you get that particular animal, you have to take it. You have to outcross it. That's how you're gonna get the most out of it. It's a potent dog. Okay. Um. But there's different people, man, who's got different ones and everybody coming out with similar results, you know, than a bulldog. So uh, it's not yeah. tied to a particular uh, strain. That's why I have an advantage, you know, when it comes uh, to that. And I tell people all the time, bro, you can probably breed that shit to a squirrel and get some really good dogs. You can breed it to some bullshit, scatter bread dogs. And they're bred so tight, you know, uh, you're going to get some good shit. But you just have to understand genetics and, 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 and breeding. And you have to get your animals uh, from a breeder such as BKK who has mastered capturing desirable traits. So uh, you think the, uh, the, out of the brick dogs you've seen or, or the brick line, do you think it's, uh, it's better pure or crossed out? Yeah. It, 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 okay. Um, it's all when, about I say, when I say pure, I mean pure the brick line. Your, whatever dogs that you're running from that line, you, you think it's better bread like I, that? or I understand that it's all about purpose. See, when I talk to a, a particular individual, first thing I ask is, what are you trying to accomplish? And they'll be like, well, you know, I'm trying to build a program. So if yeah. they tell me they're trying to build a program, I'm going to automatically put them on a potent dog because that's how you build a program. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they see that they're looking, you know what I'm saying, for a dog, you know, that uh, that's a working dog. And don't get me wrong, you're going to get potent dogs that's going to fucking work, but don't get caught up in that. Never get caught up in that. If I tell you that son of a bitch is for a dog on producing, leave it at that. 
I don't give a fuck what that motherfucker does. Leave it at that. Because once you get caught up in what it does as an individual dog, you didn't fucked up. You didn't. Yeah. You didn't fucked up. But if somebody tells, if somebody says, you know, uh, uh, I want a working dog, I'm gonna put them on something that comes off of a potent dog that I've crossed. And so I'm gonna give them what they want. I'm gonna give them a high percentage working dog. And I'm gonna tell you another thing too. If I if I point something out as a as a as a uh, as, with my particular dogs, I can spot out certain things. All right. And if I select that motherfucker, all you got to do is follow my goddamn lead. The hardest thing it's going to uh, uh, be for you to do is leave the fucking dog alone. Just leave it alone. Yeah. Don't get, don't, don't, you know, let your dick get hard. You know what I'm saying? Off a hottest joke of looking in and hide acts, you know, because it, you, you didn't just fucked up. And like I said, I'm all for, I'm not just for BKK dogs, man. I'm for the betterment of the breed. So it could come from me. It could come from you. It could come from anybody else. You still need to give the dogs the best chance to represent, you know, saying the lineage the way it should be represented because you want to see the true numbers. You know, nobody sees the true numbers. Nobody's seeing the percentages that these dogs are actually throwing because shit, you fucking up the goddamn good dogs. You yeah. fucking them up. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah, when you said uh, you can breed them with a squirrel, I didn't think you was trying to be funny or nothing, because that's how I feel about my dog. You can breed them with a squirrel, damn. So you saying basically like the, the brick line is, is basically like a, a, like yard starters. You know, um, you could use one of them puppies to start your yard or two of them dogs to start your yard up. Yeah, and, and, and people got to understand, you know, um, what the refinement process is. The refinement process simply means I took the best of the best dogs in order to get to this potent dog. That's it. And this, this dog right here is packed, you know what I'm saying, with desirable traits. And it needs to breathe. And now one way to breathe it, breathe it, uh, let it breathe, cross it out. And let and then see the magic. Let the magic happen. But like I said, I'm in the I'm in the uh position right now where we're we're actually working to salvage, you know, what I'm saying the uh the line. You know, if, if I ask you, shit, what where you know, did you know where it's like flooded with BKK animals? You see what I'm saying? Um, there's nowhere that's flooded with BKK animals. Nowhere. Nowhere. And so that just lets you know, okay, well, shit, there's not that many of them. So uh, what, you know, what we have to do over here is teach people to do the exact same thing, you know, uh, that was done. And yeah. uh, that's the reason why I say, look, I need to sucker people into having a yard full of motherfuckers. Because if I suck the people into having a yard full of dogs like Brickhaven, everybody fucking wins. You want yeah. you want to experience on having an elite motherfucking dog, or at least have multiple elite fucking dogs. All right. Yeah. Now you may, you may not know how you did it, because people be like, man, you putting them in the game to do exactly you know what I'm saying what you're doing. That's gonna fuck you up. Well, to, to be honest, you know, um, people still not gonna know. You know, what I'm saying they may look like they know what they're doing. But they're not going to know if they actually lose that potent dog, they're not going to know how to get back to that, that potent yeah. dog. But they didn't go through the process of doing the refinement to, to produce that particular dog. They were just able to benefit from it by making a really great investment, you know, and, and producing, making outcrosses and producing really good dogs. So, yeah. you know, I, I, I give them the game, but I don't give them the game. Yeah. So what's yeah. your take? What's your take on cold females? You'll breed a cold female? Oh man, great motherfucking question. Boy, you own it only tonight. That's a great goddamn question. Um, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And and it goes and it goes deeper than that. I'm gonna tell y'all, dumbasses, if there's anybody in the comment section talking about they would never breed to a motherfucking cold dog, that's because you're a fucking idiot. And you don't know what the fuck a cold dog truly is. All right. Now, I'm gonna tell you this majority of people call their curves cold. You see what I'm saying? This motherfucker shitting, pissing, you know, tucking his tail, running the opposite way. Oh, he cold. Now nah, that son of a bitch ain't cold. It's either he ain't started up or either he a motherfucking cur. He started up and then he went into that mode. You see what I'm saying? So you curried him. Uh, a cold dog yeah. is the equivalent, yeah. equivalent, you know what I'm saying, of, of somebody getting hit in the fucking mouth, right? And they may smile about it. I may just be like, no expression whatsoever. Just like nothing ever fucking happened. That's cold. That dog on dog or like nothing ever happened. The dog, the dog, and I'm gonna tell you another thing too. 
you motherfuckers, bro, you fake son of a bitches, y'all ain't never experienced no goddamn cold off either, but for the most part, all right? Now, man, I'm, I'm going to get some jewels. I'm going to get some jewels on this motherfucker. I'm going to give up the game, especially with this, uh, with this cold dog shit. All right. Um, but, all right. What's, uh, what's the direction I'm going to go with this? All right. So, a cold dog, you have to understand what it is. And how it got cold. What creates a cold dog? All right. It ain't nothing but a defect. It's a defect, man, that comes from goddamn tight line breeding and inbreeding. That's what the fuck it is. Okay. And so when you produce a cold dog, it's either one or two things that's going to happen with that dog as far as production wise. It's either it's going to produce really, 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 really fucking well. Or either it's not. And I'm going to tell you what it's based off of, right? It's based off of how well the breeder captured the desirable traits. That's all it's based off of. If the breeder used the wrong motherfucking dog that had undesirable traits, maybe he bred them just because the pedigree looked good, right? But then those are dogs that had the undesirable traits, you know, center of that particular family. But they said he breeding and breeding and breeding and breeding and breeding, and breeding right? All right, so now you've got a potent dog that has undesirable traits. So what is it going to do? It's going to throw undesirable traits. All right, and, and then it'll throw a cold dog that has undesirable traits. All right, so, but if you get, a, you get a cold dog from a breeder that did the refinement process correctly, took the best of the best motherfucking dogs, took the best of the best dogs, Got it in one, and then the dog is showing that defect. That motherfucker is going to throw its ass off. It's going to produce way more than a lot of these so-called champions, grand champions that everybody rushing to breed to. Because you cannot dispute DNA. DNA will never lead you wrong. A title can mislead you. How many times... How many times have you seen champions, grand champions, not able to pre, uh, produce themselves? Okay. It's misleading, right? Mm -hmm. DNA will never mislead you. For the simple fact, if a dog shows you that it's not producing, uh, then guess what the DNA showed you? That it wasn't working. So did it mislead you? No, it didn't. It showed you that it wasn't working. If the dog show you that it is producing, the DNA show you that it is producing, guess what it's doing? It's leading you in the right direction, but it never misleads you. Titles hey, can mislead you, yeah. I, I thought about something real quick. This ain't nothing oh. to just, I'm, I'm, I'm with you with everything you're saying. What mm -hmm. if, what if your dog, our dogs are producing or anybody dog is producing, but they, mm -hmm. they dog, the, the dogs get to the wrong hands? You know, so we really don't really know if they're producing or not. You know, Bro, you don't I'm really... Bro, bro, bro. If it, if it, if a tree if a tree falls in the fucking woods and nobody's there, does it make noise? Oh no, that's Lisa. Oh. They said though. Oh yeah, it does. You can rest, best believe that yeah, motherfucker yeah. still makes sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's still making a noise. We just don't hear. It. Yeah, right, right. Okay, and so basically, a good dog, man, is a good fucking dog, regardless. Now, sometimes yeah. you get behind the scenes, right? I'm gonna give you a prime example. You get behind. That's why it's good to know shit rather than to follow a sales pitch. Sometimes you can be up in a circle. Excuse me, I bit my goddamn tongue. Sometimes you can be up in a circle, right, uh, of people that may have some really good dogs. They're putting them out, but they're putting them out to idiots. And every time you see an idiot with a dog, right, the dog really just don't accomplish anything, but the dogs don't give up. The dogs don't do shit. They actually turn it out to be really consistent. They're just getting placed in the wrong hands. Now, yeah. on paper, on paper, does it show that the dog is producing? No. But in reality, is the dog producing? Yes. That mother, yeah. but, but they need, they need to be placed in the right hand. But I'm going to tell you something, bro. You just asked the question and this, I'm telling you, bro, I said it all already. 80% of these motherfuckers that's dealing with these dogs is unproven, bro. So you talking about them. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they can't put them over, bro. They, they, everybody too, Two uh, 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 busy kissing other folks' ass. They don't give a fuck about you. You go into their events and shit. And, you know, you, you don't want to uh, uh, do your own thing. Why? Because your name don't mean shit. Because, you know, you can't deal with anybody telling you your name ain't shit. Because it ain't. 
You know what I'm saying? You have to go through the motherfucking trenches. Ain't nobody going to respect you. I ain't going to respect you because everybody sit up there and watch me go through that shit. Like, God damn, BKK is a motherfucking bulldog. BKK, you know, yeah, motherfucker. It's, hey, don't matter who come at BKK, BKK, come out that goddamn man. Hit the middle. Mm, hit the middle. Mm, my motherfucker. Man. Uh, scratching. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so yeah. People, people saw that. People witnessed that, bro. So never, nobody could never question, you know what I'm saying, BKK. Only thing, they'd be like, damn, bro. Uh, I want them goddamn dogs, you know, uh, that's just like him, you know. Uh, and so, but that's the reason why I stand behind the dogs. I know what it is I have. Um, can't nobody tell me no uh, different. And it goes through not only what I'm doing as an individual, but other people having success. And the, the other people having success is is huge. But um, the challenge is, bro, the challenge is, and I said this earlier, is to find the right people. So basically, man, and I think that's going to be a lot of people's struggle. Uh, if you're a breeder, you take pride in your dogs. Um, there's going to be folks that have bread, but at the end of the day, man, it's like, can you suck at them into following your lead? Because a lot of people feel, man, as soon as I buy this fucking dog, I'm going to tell you, you know what I'm saying, what I feel that you want to hear in order to get that motherfucker. But after I get that son of a bitch, man, fuck you, motherfucker. I do what the fuck I want to do with the son of a bitch. my dog. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So let me, so. let me ask you this. Um, outside of Brick, if you had to start your yard over and you couldn't get him, who, mm -hmm. uh, who, how would you start it over? Oh, man, great question. Uh, what I would do is I would go to a reputable breeder um, that uh, has mastered capturing desirable traits. I'm going to tell you something, man. There's certain particular crosses um, that I know that are compatible, right? And so if I have to really just start over, um, there's certain uh, uh, dogs, like, I don't know, like a red boy dog or something. You know, I'd probably go get a heavy one of those and um, get a heavy uh, from a reputable breeder. Then um, uh, a Jeep dog or something, you know, um, some along that line. Uh, those are compatible. Uh, something that comes off a refinement process from a reputable breeder. Uh, yeah. are, just, are just two dogs that, that complement each other. Or I'm going to see if they complement each other. Shit, I just need two goddamn dogs to come off refinement process and from do two different fucking uh, breeders. And yeah. if, they, if they click, I'm automatically in there. And it's going to give me two things, right? It's going to give me a fucking working dog. And it's going to give me a dog that has the ability to produce. Yeah. yeah. You know, because the top and the bottom both come off potent shit. If the dog itself, you know what I'm saying, is a bulldog, it just proves that it clicked and it worked and it can throw. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, that's how, that's how I would do it. I just take the knowledge you know, that I know when it comes to off of uh, producing really good dogs. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, um, when it comes to breeding, have you ever did a breeding and realized it was too tight? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that goes along to what I, um, I was telling you earlier. I said, man, you know, you can't, you know, the only way you can be a master of something is to do it over and over again, you know. Uh, and so basically, and then I also said there are certain dogs that you wouldn't see. You see what I'm saying? The calling starts here. Yeah, Shit. Yeah. I got a I got a bitch. The bitch that I had, uh, matter of fact, we're down 11, actually. We're down 11 pups. I sit up there and literally watch this bitch call one of my pups. I watched yeah. her do it. Um, but the reason why I watched it, um, because she put the pup to the side. She put the pup to the side. And then I was like, damn, why do you put that pup to the side? It's already a little smaller pup. But then there's another pup that was small, too. She left it alone. But then I paid attention to this particular pup. And he was kind of gasping, you know, saying for air. So I was like, OK. So she already knew something was wrong with the pup. All right. From that point on, man, she purposely laid on this motherfucker and crushed it. Damn. You see, you know, purposely did it. And so uh, but she's a good mama dog. She made sure those other ones were clearly out the way, but she knew that this one right here, something wasn't right. It's weak. You know, it's not good enough to be along with the rest of them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so. Um, yeah. Ma matter of fact, I kind of got uh, thrown out. What was the initial question? Because I, I was running on with that. I was asking you, Bob, um, have you ever, you know, seen a, a, a breeding that you made that was too tight? You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, I can't, I can't breed that in no more. I got to go out with it now. Yeah, I, I did that with my sage dog. Um, 
my sage dog, um, you can't you can't really just go tight, tight. You know, well, you can't go back into the lineage with her because she's in the tight form of the grand champion brick Stone Cold Blood using the Stone Cold Dog. And so, um, but I did take it to Brick Haven. And then one of the reasons why I took it to Brick Haven, because I said earlier, Brick Haven gives me a little bit more leeway, you know what I'm saying? Because he's off of Brick versus Stone Cold, and then he has other crosses in it. So um, we're going to see how that how that turns out. I think I'm going to hit a home run, you know what I'm saying, with it. But if I don't, you guys will never know about it. So yeah. so uh, give, me one, give me one other line that you just been – you haven't seen it in the Brick line yet, but you're waiting to see it in it. You know it's going to throw – you know, one one line that you specifically that you haven't seen it in yet. Got a little buzz and got a little buzz in the background though. Oh, I don't know where it's coming from, bro. Uh I, I and I can't hear it. Well, we're good, man. We good. We go ahead. Okay. Um, like I said, man, you can breathe it to a squirrel. So basically, you know, I put my uh uh dogs together um in the tightest form and cross it out with anything and everything. And so basically that's how you're really just going to know in a nutshell. So we're not going to go off a of sales pitch or anything like that. What we're going to do is we're going to go off of uh, taking those dogs in the tightest form and breeding them into all different types of shit and watch the consistency, you know, happen in it. And so that's all I'm going uh, to uh, go from that. Because the only the lineage, the only line of dogs that I really want to promote at the end of the day is BKK. BKK yeah. is the only that matters to me, you know, and uh, so BKK dogs cross out with this. Like I said, I built a brand, you know, saying off of them, you know, so it's BKK, BKK, even a hater, man. When a hater talk about me, they'd be like, man, fuck them BKK dogs. What, 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 what kind of dogs are this? Them BKK dogs, you know, so that's all. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm checking the chat out real quick. Checking the chat oh. out. Checking the chat out. Big salute to all my brothers and sisters down in the chat. Uh, City Boy Kennels, what's going on? What's going on with you down there? I ain't been keeping up with the chat, seeing what y'all boys talking about. I'm listening to my brother up here. We up here talking tonight. You know what I'm oh, saying? How, um, how do you look at the chats? I'm, I'm new at this. How do you look at the chat? Uh, I can't, You should be able to see it from the screen that you're on right now. Hold on, can you see, see it? it? It did. Some do say chat. Okay, hold on. Oh, I don't see nothing. It's a chat with everyone in the studio. I don't know. It ain't, it ain't got nothing over here, though. Uh, what, what does that mean? Folks just listening? Folks down there commenting and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can see. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, don't. Wait a minute. Hold on. Bruce say BKK working on that fluffy gene. What does that mean? Yeah. Uh, Cause I'm gonna tell. You, hey, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Hold on. Let me get back on him. Yeah, I don't even know what that means, bro. But anybody, you know, who who want to challenge BKK. I mean, we could challenge as individuals, you know, and I ain't talking about no physical shit, bro. I'm just talking about just like me and this brothers on a on a on a um, on a video or on a live or whatever the case may be. We could do the same thing, and you could talk about how you upset because you don't have two grand champions. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's all about results. See, I told you, man, people focus on the wrong shit. It's all about results. While motherfuckers was laughing, key 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 in. You know what I'm saying? BKK were putting in the work and I'm steady putting in the work and I paid attention to shit that fucking mattered. I paid attention to motherfuckers, study motherfuckers who dominated the fucking world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Larry Wayne Doherty. Uh, a lot of you motherfuckers uh, don't even know who the fuck that is, but he's a motherfucker man that came in my group, disrespected all black people. Say black folks would never be able to contribute to anything when it comes uh, to these dogs. And he put it out there. Y'all never be as good as the Floyd Boudreaux's and, you know, and, 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 and the Tants, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, and, the, and the Tom Garner. This dude put it out there. Matter of fact, shit, if I had a little second, I'd play that shit for you. You know what I'm saying? We could lift that shit up, you know, because I got it. Um, but, but then people are going to get pissed off. You see what I'm saying? But that's the shit that, that, that motivates me. 
Oh, really? Okay, well, all right, well, cool. Well, let's just see. But I know one uh, thing. If I follow what everybody else is following, then Larry Wayne Doherty is going to be correct. You know, yeah. I never, yeah. I never reached the level, you know, saying, uh, all right, they could be like, hey, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to tell you something that piss off you, you racist white people. People be like, oh, man, you think you time going to. No, I don't. I think I'm better. And um, and I'm a, if I don't reach the level of time going, then I'm going to produce somebody who will. Shit, I produced I produce, uh, Ace Lee Robinson of American Sentinel K-9. He didn't have no working program. He came to me. He needed a fucking program. He needed a program. He needed something that, that was going to take his, ba- uh, his masters, his band off to the next level. And he needed a pit bull program. I gave him a pit bull program that he didn't even believe in. Because a particular dog on Brenner, bitch, he said her tail was too fat. And she may not be a full pit bull. I say, man, look here. Only thing that you're doing, you're repeating something that I already done. If you take these two dogs together, you're going to produce phenomenal bulldogs. And guess what he did? He took those two dogs together and he produced phenomenal bulldogs. And one of them is a grand champion. And he sold that dog because uh, I'm selling Wonder Girl because she doesn't meet my standards. But then you kept Komodo. But then Komodo ain't no accomplished dog. But Wonder Girl is a grand champion. Ain't that about a bitch? Mm. You know, so... Yeah, man. Like, so, uh, like I said, man, but people, y'all, y'all focus on y'all focus on the wrong shit. But like I said, if you talk about dogs, if you keep it about the dog, let's show show your dog and show my dog. You know, and the conversation over with. Yeah. Hey, that's a good way to do it. That's yeah, a good way to do it. Now, um, some of these questions I ask, you know, different people, but I like to get everybody, you know, opinion on it. Have you ever, or would you breed two cold dogs together? Have you ever seen two cold dogs make a great, 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 great ga- uh, game dog? But at the end of the day, like I said, it's understanding. I'm gonna tell you another thing too. I don't believe in opinions. They're against my religion because they don't hold weight. Um, the only thing that, that that matters in these dogs is what's been proven and what's factual. Okay. Um, so when understanding, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a make this statement uh, based off of understanding genetics and how dogs work. All right. And so if I got two motherfucking cold dogs that come from two different doggone strains and that are compatible, yes. All day long. Gotcha. Gotcha on that. Mm-hmm. Walking on the treadmill. Which one you think? Hand walking on the treadmill. Anything, anything that's going to work your big ass too. Treadmill don't work. Yeah. People, people, people be trying to get out to work, man. You know what I'm saying? They lazy motherfuckers. You know, you if you sit up, hey, look, if you sit up there, you sit up there and run your dog hot because you said you done forgot that it's out there, you know what I'm saying, on the goddamn treadmill because you done walked off. Guess what? That's not going to happen if your ass is out there, too. You see what I'm saying? You ain't going to make sure your dog fall out. You ain't going to you ain't gonna make uh, you going to make sure that you uh, you don't fall out either. You know, so, yeah, man, uh, hand walk that motherfucker. Put in the work. Put in the work. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, um, you you know any tips when it comes to stop dogs from eating stool, eating their poop? No, shit is a, is a shit eater, bro. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't give a rat's ass what that motherfucker, you know, saying. I mean, eating the shit, you know, what I'm saying, is not going to cause any health issues, you know, what I'm saying. So, uh, uh yeah, and, and a lot of times it's because it's lacking something, you know. And so basically, my answer uh, uh, to that is, you know, um, to give it what it's lacking. So it's eating shit because it's lacking some shit, man. So give, give it a healthy, uh, healthy diet. Yeah. yeah. So what you do for fleas, man? You know, it's about some, at summertime about to drop, bro. A lot of the- <laughs> bro. <laughs> Only thing I can tell you when it comes to fleas, fleas gangsters, fuck, bro. The only thing you can do, only thing you can do is try to prevent it. So when it started to get hot a little bit, people should have already been dipping them dogs. They should have already been spraying. Go because ahead, jump on it. Yeah. yeah. Once, once, uh, once, you know, they, they get out of there and then you constantly, you, 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 you battling two things. All right. You're battling the fleas that's on the dog. Then you're battling the fleas that's in the fucking yard. All right. And so, Basically, as soon as you clean the fucking dog, then the fleas get back. I mean, uh, yeah, the fleas get back on the dog. You know, then you got to treat the yard. Okay, well, guess what you got to do again? 
come back and do it again. Why? Because egg hatch. Then you got to come back and do it again. Bro, the best thing is just preventative, bro. Wrap that shit up. You know what they say, uh, 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 say when it comes to protective uh, uh, sex abstinence, you know what I'm saying, is it, the best. You know, so preventative is the best, man. Just stay on top of it and then you won't have that issue because it doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying, about, well, it actually does matter, you know, when it comes to the product, you know, but all the products, you're going to have to keep reapplying that shit over and over again, man, because a lot of them, bro, just don't take out the eggs. You know, yeah. they, they, they they kill the adult fleas, but they don't take out the eggs, so you got to keep doing it over and over again. You, uh, you like you raw, raw or kibble for you? There's, pro, there's pros and cons, you know, uh, to them all, but uh, if you go back, you know, to the to uh, the nature, you know, saying of the dog before man tapped up and, and uh, created kibble to make profit off of it, raw has always been better. Yeah. Now you know a lot of brothers, a lot of brothers and sisters want to know this, uh, for because they always ask me this: expensive feed or cheap feed? Which one you think is better for your dog, or does it really matter? Yeah. I mean, okay. Well, you. Yeah, I mean, damn. Um, I, I can tell you this. Uh, a lot of people, you know, look at my pups, you know, saying in the past. And the first thing that they ask, what are you feeding them? And one thing that I didn't want to do is mislead people. I didn't want to mislead people and uh, say, hey, look, if I tell you what it is that I'm feeding, you know, send my puppies that your puppies are going to look like this because they're not. You can give some of the best feed in the fucking goddamn world. Uh, uh, your puppies ain't going to look like BKK pups. You know, it starts off with genetics. You see what I'm saying? You have a you have a you have a smaller you have a smaller frame. I have a bigger frame, you know, and, you know, you can ask me, well, what's my fucking diet? You know, shit. well, you know, I, I have a uh, different genetic makeup, you know, so my yeah. diet, whatever the fuck it is that I'm eating, you're not going to look like it. OK, because yeah. genetic yeah. makeup is different. So that's the same thing when it comes to the dogs uh, and that and and at that time, just to be honest, shit. Man, my, my puppies were looking better than any goddamn body, you know what I'm saying, pups. And all I was feeding them was puppy child. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because a lot of lot of brothers, are, you know, uh, yeah. are wonder how brothers had their dogs looking so good. And then they turn around and say they're feeding them something that costs $20, 15 $20 a bag when brothers mm -hmm. around here trying to, and feeding their dogs $80, $80 a bag and their mm -hmm. dogs don't look that good. So, you know, that's why... I, I see a lot of people wanting to know what, how that how how you felt about that when it comes to the dog food. Man, look here, bro. Hey, a lot of y'all can take y'all ugly wives out to the goddamn dinner, right? And you can feed it. Hey, whatever you want to eat, whatever you want to order on that baby. You know what I'm saying? She's still gonna be ugly as hell after she get through eating. <laughs> hey, you're right about that. Yeah. So you know, it has nothing to do with that. You know. No. Yeah. The nutrition nutrition is important, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. Now, yeah. if you could do anything different from when you started the game, you know, what would that be? If you could do it over again, rather. If I can do it over again? Well, actually, man, I think I did, man. Just to be honest, I think I did pretty good. Um, everybody has to learn the lessons. Everybody has to go through, you know, the trial and errors. Yeah. Um, you know, and like I said, when I first started off, maybe, you know, saying if I had a, a mentor to say, hey, don't, you know, saying ruin this dog or don't do that, um, you know, maybe that could have been eliminated. But even when I even when uh, I got the uh, the brick uh, dog and the honey bear dog, you know, then Jabari was up in there. Mean Girl was up in there. It's like, um, you know. I was still smart enough to understand that though that needed to be preserved because the guy who I got the dog from, guess what? He was out of the dogs. It was over with. It was, you know, he was done with them. And so if I had not preserved that particular line, then shit, we wouldn't even been talking about these dogs today. There would, there wouldn't be no such thing as a uh, grand champion brick or stone pole, you know, saying uh, uh, anything uh, like that. But I think, man, the, I think the steps, you know, that I took, when necessary, you know, and so to recreate it or try to rewrite it, nah, man, everything happened for a reason. And, you know, even through all the, uh, the trial and error, uh, even through all the ridicule, um, that shit was designed to make BKK stronger, you know? And so no, nah, I wouldn't change none of this shit because it, it happened for a reason. And that's the reason why, you know, I'm in the position that I am in, you know, today.
you know, because, you know, um, I went through that shit and passed with flying colors. So, but, but I had to go through it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, what was the best advice anybody ever gave you about these dogs? <laughs> Somebody actually told me, matter of fact, his name was uh, Bruce, who's a good buddy of mine. He said, he said the days, you know, saying of being time garner, you know, and this is going to seem like it's kind of contradicting. But he said, you know, the days of being Tom Garner and all these other greats, you know, saying is over with. So, you know, saying anybody who's aspiring, you know, um, to be like these folks. But first of all, you got to understand if you don't look like them, your chances are slim because you finna you finna run into some roadblocks that, that they can they can get over. But you can't, you know, it's just a trap to get your ass caught up in that system. You know, saying behind it. So you got to understand your place and you got to understand you're not the same. You're not the same, you know. And so basically he was telling me, you know, what I'm saying in that sense, man, look, don't get caught up in trying to do exactly, you know, what I'm saying what, you know, what I'm saying they're doing because, you know, um, they their their community are, are, are uh, uh, is not set up to benefit you, you know, to do what they're doing. So um, that's why I took the liberty to actually create my own. I created my own lane. Like when people be com complaining all the time and shit, it's because I'm not begging to be a part of that fucking community. I'm not begging these white racist people looking for y'all for acceptance. Like y'all be used to these Negroes and shit. Oh, please accept me. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be a part of the community. I want to be recognized, you know what I'm saying, and all this shit. Man, fuck what you talk about. You know, I'll create my own, and then i exclude your ass. How about that? You know, um, you know, for the white racist people. I got a couple of white folks, you know, who back uh, BKK, but as far as, like, the racist community, I come uh, down hard on them, on anybody's fucking platform. I won't uh, bite my tongue, you know, when it, uh, when it comes to that, uh, because I do and say shit that other people can't do, you know, I don't have to clock in, you know, saying to, um, to a job, you know, um, that, uh, a white person employs me, you know, so, you know, Hey, Hey, uh, Gilbert, we, we heard you on the, uh, on the, on the live, uh, yesterday. Um, uh, we didn't know you felt that way. <laughs> yeah. so we're going to, we're going to have to cut you loose. <laughs> no, you know that. You ain't got to cut me loose, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm independent. You know, I sit up there and watch people all the time, man. They say certain shit in the inboxes and shit when it come to white people, but then they won't say it out, you know. Oh, man, I don't want to live like that, man. Fuck that shit, man. Uh -uh. You know, um, I, I respect all the um, white racist people who told me exactly how they fucking felt. You know, I really do uh, appreciate those guys for that, and I can respect you guys. Like, bro, I really don't, I really don't care for you. And they'd be like, you know what? I really don't care for you, too. Oh, bro, that's what I'm saying. We have common interests. You know, we, you know, we say, well, we see uh, certain things in common, you know, um, the dislike for one another. But then be able to respect that person at the same time, you know, for their dislike. You know, um, I, I appreciate that versus the motherfucker smiling and being fake in my goddamn face, acting like they cool, which uh, you see that a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, when it comes to uh, game this more. Gameness, mouth, or smartness, you know, what's a what's a deal breaker for you? Back you know, at least back in the days. Wait a minute, let me let me let me hear that question again. When it comes to gameness, smartness, gameness, gameness, smartness, and mouth, you gotta you can have one, but you gotta get rid of the other two. Oh, which 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 two that I'm gonna choose out of the three? No, which one you gonna choose out of the three? I'm only gonna choose one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna go with um, gamers because that's the only way that I can stay true to the game dog. All right. Yeah. Uh, I explain this to people, you know, saying all the time. Oh boy, y'all didn't know BKK was so intelligent, did you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I explain to people, you know, saying all the time, you know, um, if you have a dog, you know, saying that's a hard biting dog, you know, and you're banking on that, you're gambling on that, you're putting everything behind that, then you just working to establish a phenomenal short order dog, but you can never call it game. You know, um, you can never call, if it's not built off of gameless, the foundation was not built off of fucking gameless, it cannot be a fucking game dog. 
how can you call it a game dog and it ain't game? Yeah. And you know, yeah. So it makes sense. So the only way to stay true to the breed, if you're going to have to pick one, you know, saying out of the three, you're going to have to go with gamers because you can build, you can build intelligence, you know, saying you can build mouth off of that foundation of gamers. So I'm going to take gamers all day long. Hey, y'all see why I'm the master breeder, goddammit? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I hear you on that. Yeah. Big salute to the brothers and sisters that's watching. Big salute to the brothers and sisters in the chat. You know, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, haven't subscribed yet. You know, um, any any advice you want to leave the brothers and sisters before we get up out of here, bro? When okay. Come to this dog game or anything? Man, you know, um, like I said before, um, be different. You know what I'm saying? From everybody else because most people follow fairy tales they follow stories um the main thing that's important when it comes to these dogs is results you always want results you see what i'm saying so if you see something that goes against the way that you was taught but it's getting results go in that direction because at the end of the day that's what's important you know uh it's all about what works and what produces all that other shit is not important. Uh, stay away from opinions. People voice opinions all the time. It means nothing. The only thing that holds weight is what's been proven and what's factual. I can sit up here, man, talk about, oh, I feel this way. I feel that way. Man, fuck my feelings. Fuck your feelings because our feelings don't mean shit. You see what I'm saying? Let's yeah. talk about things. Let's talk about things that have been proven to work. You know, that's going to get results. That's the only thing I'm interested in results. If a motherfucker Say, oh, this motherfucking dog right here quit, man. We personally seen it quit. Well, shit, I personally seen the motherfucker produce. So if I personally seen the motherfucker produce, I'm going to breed to that son of a bitch because I want results. Yeah. You know, so yeah, people people focus on dumb shit. Bro, I don't give a fuck what the fuck you say. I'm up, I'm sitting up here molly whopping the shit out your motherfucking ass. But you're a real dog, man, because you following some shit. You know what I'm saying? That your white oppressor uh, told you uh, uh, the way that you should do it. Dumb ass. You know, but... uh. But yeah, but that that's that that's probably it, you know what I'm saying, in a nutshell, man. Probably the best advice, you know, that I can give uh to somebody, man. You know, uh start paying attention to the things that truly matter. You know, anybody wanna reach out, you know, saying to me, uh, reach out to me and ask about, man, how do you identify things that fucking truly matter? How did you was able to focus on the things that truly matter? Because at the end of the day, you want the results. Everybody that's pissed off at BKK right now, they pissed off because of the results. Because everything that they said about BKK, all the all the dis discredit and everything, the lies, you know, everything they said. Oh shit! Oh no, this guy right here, he got results. He got goddamn two grand champions, and then also we got a grand champion, the grand champion uh, breeding. We got uh, I'm giving back to the community like I've always given back to the community. Uh, I'm giving uh, people an opportunity to get in on that drawing, and I encourage the haters most of all to get in on the drawing. Y'all need to get in on the drawing. And I'm going to tell you the reason why you motherfuckers need to get in on the drawing the most. Because BKK is a actually has the cure to haterism, you stupid motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? If you, if, 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 if you get your hands on one of them goddamn BKK dogs, especially one of the ones coming off the Grand Champion Brick, Grand Champion Wonder Girl breeding, guess what? You will not have the desire to hate on another motherfucker no more. Somebody could come to you, you know what I'm saying, with what somebody else doing, bro. Fuck what you talking about, bro. I got what I need, bro. I got that BKK dog, bro. I ain't interested in this shit no more. Oh, nigga, you was interested in it before. That before when when they ain't had shit like you. I got something now. So fuck what you talking about. You see what I'm saying? True haterism. You don't even have a desire to hate. The only reason why you hating because you ain't fucking eating. That's why you got to make sure everybody motherfucking eat or either have an opportunity to eat. You know what I'm saying? And then some of you motherfuckers, you eat. But then you still be greedy, though, you motherfucker. Yeah, you be greedy. But um, not to get all the way off of the uh, off of the subject. I'm creating opportunities, y'all. Don't nobody have an excuse not to participate. You know, saying in it, you can be a part of something special. You can remember. Oh, I saw uh, BKK. You know, saying on the uh, live. You know, uh, uh, with Pelican Bay. Uh, I seen BKK up in this group. Man, damn, I should have got that phone in. Damn, such and such won that motherfucking only thing he did invest uh twenty five dollars. Then BKK sold the other puff for ten k. I'm gonna do that. I already got two slots filled on the motherfuckers, bro. It's gonna happen. You see what I'm saying? So you can sit yeah. up there, 
You you can hate all the fuck you want, bro. None of that shit fucking matters, bro. You know what I'm saying? God has already got the shit written. All right. Now it says people that uh uh that are uh, once oppressed, you know, that was in bondage, they're gonna come out of bondage, they're gonna get put back into the positions. All right. And so basically now it's up to BKK to put those people back into positions, right? Okay, so you got other people that's in the positions, of course, they're gonna be upset. All right, but we're not gonna get into that. I'm gonna leave it off, you know, saying what it is because. I understand when it comes to this game, there's certain people, man, that actually understands what the fuck is going on when it comes to BKK. And it's on a completely different motherfucking level. And it's them white racist people. They understand to a T what the fuck I'm doing. They understand. It. And they got they hit the nail right on the head. That motherfucker right there. He trying to put his people in position. And that's exactly what I'm doing, because that's the way it was written. It was written that. God's chosen people are going to get placed back in position. So it's in my heart in order for me to follow the higher power. I have to use my dog to place people back into position, you know, and that's why uh, uh, Pelican Bay, that's why, man, when it came to going back and talking about those uh, past dogs, that shit over with, dog. That shit over yeah. with. It's I over feel with. You. I feel you on that. I feel you on it's that. That's why I couldn't entertain it. It's over with. Over with. I, I want to hear about some Pelican Bay dogs. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear your kids talk about how, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, my daddy, you know what I'm saying, was a goddamn legend. You know what I'm saying? Your grandkids, you know what I'm saying, talk about, man, my my papa, man, is a is a legend, you know what I'm saying, in this motherfucking shit. We got our own strain of dogs. So all them, uh, all of them, other dogs that y'all talk, man, fuck that. Fuck that. Look, the dog's been dead and gone for 30 years anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Look here, man. A lot of y'all got better dogs than them dogs ever was. What you don't have is marketing. You don't have marketing. People, oh, another thing that idiots say, all right, before we get up out of here. An yeah. idiot was the idiot will say good dogs sell themselves. Boy, you got to be dumber than a box of goddamn rocks. Don't nothing sell this motherfucking self. Nothing in this world sell this motherfucking self. For all you doggone religious folks, have uh, you ever heard of Jesus? How did you hear about Jesus? Oh, that's right. Somebody told him. Somebody sold you on it, right? You dumb ass. Somebody told you about it. That's the reason how you heard of Jesus or anything in this world. It has to be marketed to you. So Jesus was marketed to you. Jesus just didn't sell itself. You didn't come out the doggone pussy and say, but doggone, uh, I'm going to worship Jesus. No. As soon as you came out the doggone pussy, somebody threw Jesus in your face. <laughs> Uh, in your parents' face, and then it passed along. Same thing when it comes to dogs. You hear certain things, you hear about certain dogs, you know, uh, the stories or whatever the case may be, you get sold up on them, that's what sells you. You know what I'm saying? If if they're uh, in a, 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 a show ring of any type, guess what? You see it personally, you hear about it, that's what sells it. You know? But if you can have the best working stock producing dog, Dogs, excuse me. You can have some of the best working stock producing dogs, right? Sitting in your backyard. If they ain't no way to market them sound bitches, don't nobody ever know about it. It's like having a, a person who can sing, right? But then there's no record label to get a hold of them. But then if a record label do get a hold of them, the first thing that they ask is, how are we, how are we gonna market this person? How are we gonna tap into the right fucking audience? It's the same shit when it comes to dogs. That's why it's important for the right motherfuckers to be behind them. You know, because if nobody's get them, then nobody's going to know about them. So, you know, you got to make sure that the right somebody's get the dogs. So somebody know about them, man. So the dogs have, you know, a chance to get out there. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, I appreciate you coming and rocking with me tonight, man. I appreciate you. No problem, brother. Yep, yes, yep. Sir, man. Keep going, keep going. Man, I'm going to tell you something. I, I, I enjoy it. I enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed it. Another thing, too, because I, I said, you know what? Hmm. Because we are... We didn't go over the questions or anything like that, uh, but I did ask. But then I thought some other shit, you know, saying was gonna pop yeah. out. But yeah, I was ready for that shit too, bro. I'm on it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, and no, ain't never, I ain't never lost. I ain't never lost it alive. People don't come on BKK lives. They do yeah. not come on BKK live. Hey, white community, am I lying? Anybody? Y'all know me. Y'all know me. Y'all know. <laughs> don't come on a BKK live. That's hey, look here. Whatever you do. Whatever you do, don't go on that goddamn BKK live. That dog gonna come tomorrow. 
You know, he knows what he's talking about now. Now, you got your brothers. You got your brothers that, you know, uh, look like you and you got the good old colored boys. You know, they're going to be with you as long as you stay in that comment section. But if you doggone get BKK to come up in that square thingy, you know what he calls the doggone box on the Internet, that motherfucker, he's going to take you in the deep water. And then once that happens, you're on your own. <laughs> they, <laughs> you know, damn well, I'm going I'm to I'm show up everybody. White racist people ain't shit. You see what I'm saying? And they, they ain't no need to worship for you. So that's the reason why they don't come up on my motherfucking life. The ones that got anything to say that's white racist, that's up in your, uh, that's up in your, what you call it, anything to say against BKK, they punk asses know not to come up on my life either. Yeah, because you're going to be, you're going to be a disgrace to your race. Didn't goddamn tell you it's a goddamn KKK meeting. Don't fucking come on that goddamn life. I said, didn't tell you what the fuck was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, man. But uh, it's been fun though, bro. Yeah, it's been fun. Yes, sir, man. I appreciate you coming and rocking with me tonight, man. Appreciate you. I, I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed it myself. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Y'all hit that like button up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Y'all brothers stay safe out there. Y'all brothers stay legal out there. And remember, when you heard it first, who gonna, who gonna give them exclusive interviews? PBK nines. I mean, I'm up in here with big country kennels tonight. Y'all have a great night, and we out.